Hey y'all, Easter's just a few weeks away, so I thought I would do another fun video, another one that I love to do throughout the year, and that is what is in my kids' Easter baskets this year. So I had wanted to get some cute matching Volga baskets that we'll be able to use, use forever and ever, um, but I didn't quite want to pull the trigger on the price. I mean, $20 per basket. It's not like outrageous, but when I have four kids, $80 is a little bit more. So I am going to maybe save that for next year. I wanted to spend the money on their the things that are in their baskets and just use the baskets that we have. I did get these two cute bunny like rope baskets. They say Lucy's room um, at like a yard sale last year for just a couple bucks each. So I'm gonna be using these two for my youngest and then baskets that we've had for a long time for the others. Um, so I'm just gonna get right into what I'm getting them combined. So I'm doing this one big basket of combined things. So um, the only treats that are gonna be going in here are three Peeps flavors. I went with sour watermelon, uh, what is this? Party cake, and then the bunny ones um, of purple. There's no flavor, it's just purple. Is there a flavor? I'm assuming grape? Anyways, so those three for all of them to share. So the Peeps are like $4.50 each. I like to give the prices for everything um, and then a total for it all at the end. My youngest is making lots of noise and playing in the background of this video. It's just, she's getting to that age where it's harder to time things during her nap. Anyways, so two hula hoops. I got one that's smaller since I have two smaller kids and one that's bigger. So they were each $10, and I think two is gonna be perfect. I, it'll be fine. They share things all the time. The other things that they're gonna be sharing are, I have previously gotten one bucket this size and a bigger scoop of this brand. It's called, and I'm gonna say it wrong, Spielstabil. It's a German brand, but it's a really, really thick plastic. The handle is really good. I did a lot of research before on like buckets for sand and stuff that last a long time and that are really good quality. And this was the one that I landed on these plastic buckets. Um, so I got another bigger version, one smaller version, and then two of these smaller, smaller shovels. <laughs> these were $8 each. This was $15. This was $10. Like I said, we already have um, another shovel and a, a bigger bucket of another big bucket of these. And we have like a sand pit in our backyard and we're going to the beach this year. So that'll be really fun. The last thing that's going to be going in their combined Easter basket is this handmade wooden Easter bunny playset. So it has these two little things and I'll show you a setup of it um, that the bunnies like, it's like the grass and then underground they're playing and like in the burrow. And then it comes with a tree and Easter eggs and a bunch of bunnies. I did get this from a company called Good Shepherd Toys that is in South Africa. I was able to do like a group order with um, a bunch of ladies to save on shipping from over there, but it, this um, ended up being $50, 50 US dollars when it converted into US dollars. So super cute. It's just something fun that they can play with um, around springtime and Easter time. So that is the end of their combined. The total of their combined Easter basket is $105, I think, and 50 cents. Now going into their individual baskets, I'm just gonna talk about the candy that's going in each of theirs first. Um, so I'm just doing really simple, and I'm just doing some chocolate eggs in each of their Easter baskets. Um, so if you've watched some of my other videos, I do have some children with food allergies, so the ones that don't are gonna get just these Hershey's eggs and then the ones that do, I got these 
mini chocolate egg molds. I got both of these for nine dollars on Amazon. I'll I forgot to say that I'll link everything that I can in the description box, but um, I made some candy with some molds for Valentine's Day with just these allergen free um, Nestle Toll House chocolate chips. And I just looked up a way to melt chocolate chips in the microwave. You have to do it at really small intervals and um, stir it in between. But I melted the chocolate down, put them in the molds. When they cooled and hardened, they popped out perfectly and they were so cute. So I'm gonna do the same thing with the these and just do like half of this bag. So the candy for each of their baskets ends up just being like $1.50 each. And I'm just doing those chocolate eggs and then the peeps in the combined basket because they will be getting more candy at the two family egg hunts that we're gonna go to. I have four children. We're gonna start with the oldest and work our way down to the youngest this time. So the oldest is a 10 year old boy. I'm just gonna be using a basket that we've had for a long time. So the first thing that I'm putting in each of their, um, <laughs> you showing them? Each of their Easter baskets is a new swimsuit. We're going to the beach this year, so it's gonna be super fun. And uh, I get the majority of their clothes secondhand. Um, for holidays and stuff, sometimes I will buy new clothes. Um, and I was going back and forth on whether I wanted to do that with the bathing suits this year And I just looked at the consignment sales and I found one for each of them and they look really good still so my kids Like new to them clothes. They don't really care where they come from. So This swimsuit was only a dollar twenty five at the consignment sale and then the second thing in each of their Easter baskets is just gonna be something that they wanted so I like kind of asked questions to figure out something that they might like. So he was talking about these Beyblades. They're like spinner things. And he didn't necessarily say that he wanted like an actual spinning device. Um, he may find that he will need these, need that for these, but it comes with three different ones that you put together. Um, and that was $16 from Amazon. And then the next thing that I got for each of my three oldest kids is just this paint your own pot. So um, my kids do get into gardening a little bit with me and this is more just like a springtime thing. They all love arts and crafts type of stuff. So they'll be able to paint this and then we can pick out a plant for each of them to plant in their own pot. So it comes with like the paint and stuff. And then of course the last thing is the chocolate. So just four things in their individual baskets. And I think this year we're going to do like a scavenger hunt for them to be able to find their baskets. So the total for his Easter basket was $21.55. Next is a seven year old girl. And this is the basket that I got down from the attic. I'm thinking I'm gonna have to go find a bigger one up there. I do have one. This is a swimsuit I found for her. It has flamingos. You'll see that as a theme. I think this one was a little bit more, maybe like five or six dollars. And then we have the paint your own pot for three dollars. And then for her toy, I got her this Lego set and it was $16 on Amazon. And then of course her chocolate. So her total came out to be, because her bathing suit was a little bit more, $27.30. Next we have a four year old girl and her bathing suit. I was also able to find one in her size that has a flamingo on it and it was only $3. And then of course her little paint your own pot for $3. And then I got her this Lego set on Amazon and it has not come yet for $11. So her total with the chocolate eggs is $19.41. And then my last little one will be two in just a few months. Her swimsuit I actually found at Goodwill for $3.25. It looks brand new. I mean, all of them are really in really good condition, but this one is also flamingos. So super cute. <clears throat> Instead of the paint your own pot because I don't think she'll care about it and it's she doesn't need that at this age. She will love the bubbles more. And this was a dollar. 
And then for her thing, I got her these slippers on Amazon. They have not arrived yet either. Her older sister had one from when she was younger and we only have one of the shoes left. It's like a slipper, one of the slippers. And she wears that thing around the house everywhere. It's quite big on her still. Um, so I thought it would be really fun to get her her own pair and they were $16 So the total of her basket comes out to be $21.55 Well, that is everything that I'm getting in my kids Easter baskets this year. Hopefully you enjoyed the video Thank you all so much for watching and I hope that you have a wonderful day